Welcome to the sun and the truth. Come on in and we'll have some fun together. Hello, Micah, Noah, Sally, Lilia, Violet, Lily. I see you all, yes. Hello. Okay, time for the guana. And excuse me, that's a friend. I G U A N A, iguana. I for ice cream, G for grow, U for umbrella, and A for astronaut, N for nest, and A for apple. I G U A N A, iguana. I want an iguana. No, I really don't. I've had iguanas. They can be good pets for some people, but they're not for other people. But I'm going to tell you a story today about Iggy the Iguana. No craft, no, no singing with Iguanas, but we're going to talk about Iggy the Iguana. Remember, he's a fictional character, so so a lot of us might not be totally facts. So are you ready to hear about Iggy the Iguana? Iggy the Iguana started small, small as can be. He could fit in the palm of your hand. Pay attention for facts, you might want to double check on. So Iggy could fit in the palm of your hand. Then one day, a little girl bought him. Yes, she did. She bought Iggy. Iggy grew. He couldn't fit in her hand anymore. He was about this big. Do we have to hold him? Yes, Iggy grew. Iggy, Iggy like most iguanas, he ate his veggies. So, we don't always know that. No, the people don't always know that they only eat veggies. Some people used to eat iguana fly. Do you think the little girl fed him fly? Yes, she did. What do you think of it? He shrank. He didn't quite fit in the palm of her hand, but he wasn't this big anymore. He's only about this big. And then iguana, the Nikki ran off. And the girl looked high and low. And know where she found an iguana? Iggy the iguana? You want to know where she found her, Iggy? I know you do. She found him hiding in the fridge. Rubber. Yeah, Iggy was in the fridge. The end. And I hope you enjoyed the Iggy the iguana story. And goodbye, Rachel, Rebecca, Ryan, Finn. Not just for now, it's been a tremendous world.